Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. We are doing a day in the life today. Um, we're fixing to go to HEB to pick up some groceries. I was so excited because I got on there yesterday and they actually had times available for the next day to pick up your curbside order. So, this little princess. Hi Mila. And I are gonna go do that. Um, yeah, we were basically out of groceries. I didn't do the whole hoarding and overbuying thing, so we were about to be right out. But look, and I did get a lot of text messages about substitutions, but it's fine. It's better than nothing. So I guess we'll see. Um, what, Mila? You want to go to Wella's house? Yeah, mom. Okay. Um, also, I just wanted to share these mommy. joggers. Oh, these joggers. I don't know if you can get a good look. They're from Amazon, and they're so soft and comfortable, and they have a lot of colors. And then also my tank top. I have it in three colors. It's a bodysuit, and I love it. And then Mila's little outfit. Her tie-dye PJs are from Amazon, too. They're so cute. So, anyway, we're fixing to grab some breakfast, just make something really quick, and then my battery's dying on my camera, I didn't really think this through, so I'm going to leave it charging while we run over to H-E-B and back. The nearest H-E-B to our town is about 30-40 minutes away, so it's not just like a quick run to the grocery store. So anyway, we will be back in just a little while. Is it windy? It's windy, mommy. It's windy. Yeah. Ready? Hey guys, so I'm back from picking up our grocery order. I got back a little bit ago, but um, I have an angry toddler right now. Anyway, we got back and Mila wanted to ride her Jeep around for a little bit outside. We ride that thing, or she does, like once or twice a day every day. It is really fun. Um, so yeah, curbside was nice. We like didn't have to have any contact with anybody. You just pull up, open your back door with the button if you can, and then they just load it up and you're gone. So that was quick and easy and I didn't have to have too many substitutions, which was nice. Um, I'm fixing to make some lunch. It's like one something. Make some lunch for Mila and I to eat. I've been doing that intermittent fasting I'm not a pro at it, but I've been only eating from 11 to 8. And it's actually worked. I'm down like 3, 4 pounds from last week, which is great. And the only hard part, I think, is like giving up coffee early in the morning. But I've been drinking it black for now because you can drink coffee during your fasting period. But anyway, so I kind of just had my breakfast at 11, but I'm already kind of hungry. So I'm going to fix something up and then go get my toddler out of the garage the door's open she's just right there sitting in her jeep because she doesn't want to come back in also i'm so excited because this bag just came in i ordered it um last week or so during like the when nordstrom was having 25 percent off and so it was just like a good discount because normally i don't think i would pay the full price as if I didn't already have another diaper bag. I have Mila's the Fawn Design one that I use all the time, but it was kind of bigger and bulkier than I needed it for, and I just kind of wanted something a little slimmer. And so I saw this one, it's so cute. You know, I love the leopard with the gold details. So I'm really excited about that. Because really I just carry like a few diapers, wipes, and some snacks and like a change of clothes, so I wasn't filling out the black one as much. So yeah, this one seems, oh cool, and it even has a changing pad, which we're about to start working on potty training, so. Anyway, yeah, super cute bag. 
So I just fixed Mila some mac and cheese, a banana, and some Why? gummies. She thinks they're gummies, but they're like the Juice Plus vitamin gummies. Because if I really put a pack of gummies on there, she really won't um, eat her meal. So this at least gives her that gummy fix. And she doesn't want to eat with me on the counter, so I'm gonna go set her down on her table. Hold on. Mila. You gonna sit right here? Hey, come here. Huh? Hey, did you wash your little hands? Is that yummy? Straight for the gummies. <laughs> At least they're vitamins. She just loves, she loves to snack. So I'm trying to get her away from that because it keeps her from actually eating her meals. And so she always wants like applesauce gummies or little crackers or those puffs or things like that. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna make, I'm doing a super quick lunch. Um, I don't know if any of y'all have ever tried these. I'm obsessed. They're so good. And when I'm, I know they're probably not the healthiest, but they are healthier than Domino's or Pizza Hut pizza. And I just love pepperoni pizza so much. So when I'm trying to eat better, these are, these give me like the pizza fix. I'm gonna pop that in the microwave and eat that for lunch. I've been eating just straight grilled chicken, potatoes, veggies. And that sort of thing lately so this is a good little break in between I don't want to burn myself out also all the dishes behind me those are clean they're just sitting on a dish towel I just haven't put them up yet I just washed dishes really quickly last night so yeah so we just finished up lunch and I'm starting to get a little stir crazy. I like to, I mean, I love to just like lounge at home, but I think just being a stay at home mom, I am at home all the time anyway. And then now it's even more so. So I really wanted to start finishing up my office in here. So I'm thinking about starting to paint. I did order a light fixture the other day that should be here next week. I think it's one from Ikea that because right now we just have that fan and that balloon still stuck up there that I've yet to get off there. Um, but it's that really popular Ikea light fixture. I'm sure a lot of you have seen on Pinterest. So I really liked it. And so I want to get, put that up. I think I want to paint all the walls white and maybe do a wallpaper on that wall. And then put a full length mirror right here. Our security system thing is right there. But I hate for that wall to just be wasted because of that. So I think if I get one that I could just lean, that's still accessible. We mostly turn on, on our alarms through our phones anyway. So yeah, just an idea. I have white paint already. So I mean, that part won't be costly. It's just kind of fine in the wallpaper, which that might not be something that I do anytime soon anyway. But I think painting in the light fixture will be a big change. So yeah, other than that, Otherwise, we haven't really been doing a whole lot besides just playing outside, working out, just trying to stay busy. Um, Caleb and I have been watching All American every night. We watched the first season, I guess last year, I can't remember when that came out. And now the second season is out, so we're, we've been watching that. I need to do a lot of laundry. I washed it all, folded it, but I haven't put it up yet. So I need to do that and then I'm not really sure. We'll probably go outside and play for a little bit. Okay, so we found these Paw Patrol bubbles that I forgot we bought one of the times we went to swim lessons. And 
bubbles. Okay, let's cut them real quick. Let's cut them. Okay, let's open them. Let's open. Okay, one second. Okay, Mila, so I think we poured. Mommy. Mommy. Oh, oh gosh. Here, Mommy. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, look, we pour the bubbles into here. Well, this is supposed to be mess free, but I already messed up. <laughs> okay, look, then we put this top. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Hold on. Okay, well, we just spilled half of it out. It's a little bucket so you can dip the bubbles. Okay, stick your bubbles in there. Look. Look, stick it in there. Look. Wow! Can you do it? Blow it. <laughs> Look. Oh my gosh! Mommy! Mommy, come what? here. What? Mommy, mommy! Blow it. <laughs> Y'all, so. Mommy! Something blowing balloons, blowing bubbles. That's kind of tough for me with Bell's palsy because I can't really do it as well anymore. <laughs> so, little fun fact. Hey, can mommy not play? Mommy, here. Okay, thank mommy, you. Mommy, it's my turn. <laughs>
crazy happened, but you can Amazon them. So anyway, I just did five. And so if you follow me on Pinterest, um, I did these the other day and I just put different colored pom-poms with um, like tongs. These are from like the Dollar Tree plastic cup, little scoops and just things that she can play around with. And the other day I did set out like colored cups and so you can also do like color matching and that sort of thing with it but Mila just really enjoyed it. She was just messing around and like putting them back and forth in the cups to the bucket. So that's one activity and that one kept her busy for like 30 minutes that day and then she decided to just throw them everywhere but it was an easy cleanup. And so anyway the second box is just Play-Doh, just little cutters and tools and then this I picked up again like a couple weeks ago. She played with it once yesterday, but it'll still kind of seem new to her. And then just a few things of Play-Doh. We have a lot of it, so I just divided it into smaller, um, or just put a little bit less of than bringing out the whole bucket of all the Play-Doh things, so that way it's not as big of a mess. And then I did, <clears throat> excuse me, I did a coloring box and like watercolors. We haven't messed with watercolors yet, but I think she'd have fun with it. And then her crayons, she likes to break them, so they all broke. Or like just cut in half. She pops them in half. And so I got these little colored pencils, so hopefully she can't do that. So anyway, one is just coloring stuff. Again, colored pencils, watercolor, and then um, I just put two coloring books, a llama one and a frozen. So there's that, which these will be like new to her. She hasn't ever seen these colored. Uh, Pencils. I just happen to have them in my craft box. Anyway, um, my husband got home from work and so I have to take a quick pause. I'm still a little shy like filming in front of him. Like I know he can watch the video after it's posted if he wanted to, but I still feel awkward like sitting here while he's on the, like videoing while he's on the couch. Um, but he just went to uh, work out outside. So anyway, did the coloring box, the Play-Doh, the pom-poms. And then this is another activity box, which these are just pipe cleaners. And then this that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. And it's just animals that you can like lace, weave this lace through the holes. So it's just a bunch of different ones. And then going with that same concept, I just have these paper straws laying around. I don't really like to use them. I know they're better, but um, anyway, I just chopped some up, like cut some into pieces, and I thought she could try them. Put the pipe cleaner, you know, through the straw. I don't know how easy or difficult, well, oh wait, that one was bent double. Easy or difficult that'll be, but just something to try out her keeper busy for a little bit and then the last box is this it's just stickers um i got these at michael's one time and they were a dollar each for like a little sticker book so i think whenever i set them out for her i'll just pull out a sheet or two because if not she'll sit there and just want to peel all of them but they're really cute little ice creams and Things like that, and then a little pets one. And then those neon dots with that activity that I did the other day that I got off of Trey Chic Mama's YouTube, where you draw a shape and then you have them stick the stickers only on the line. Like if you draw a heart, only stick the stickers on the heart. Like on the line of the heart. And Mila caught on pretty quickly and she's only two, so that one should be pretty easy. And then just these little like jewel stickers. And then I just put paper, construction paper and popsicle sticks that she can stick all of that onto. So like I said, these aren't really anything mind blowing or anything just like crazy new or anything like that. I just, they're easy and just things I had at home and things I know for sure that Mila shows an interest in that will keep her busy. So I will let you know how she likes those. Um, also, I just got the plane. I know Target has the really cute baskets with like the pink lids, but they didn't have those in stock and I just knew I, would, I wouldn't ever like make it a point to get on there, order them, that sort of thing. So I think I'm gonna do a 
like I did the storage boxes the other day. I'm gonna make a cricket, cricket um, words to put like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or I don't know if I'm gonna do them by like theme or by days of the week because I probably will pull these out more than like one time. I know it's the point is so they don't get used to um, get used to the toys and still find interest in them. But I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put labels on them and just do it with the Cricut. So there's that. Let me know if you try any of these or if you have any other ideas that you like to do for your toddlers. So I'm always open to it. Mila's not wanting to take naps lately, which is nice on one hand because then she's ready for bed at 7.30, like on the dot. And then, but on the other hand, it's like I have to keep her busy all day long. Like there's not really a break in there. But just now we had to make a quick run to the bank. So we went to the bank and in that five minutes she fell asleep, which it's already like about to be five o'clock, which is not fun because then she won't ready, be ready for bed later. But I don't know, we'll see. Obviously she was tired and needed it. So for now, I think I'm fixing to start some dinner and then we'll just make size. I set out some steaks for Caleb to throw on the Traeger in a little bit and then I'll probably just make sweet potatoes and veggies again or I don't know, some healthy side. And then I'm gonna go for a walk, I think, after he works out or go run or something for a little bit. I'm sorry I mess with my hair a lot. I just really don't know what to do with my hands when I'm sitting here in front of the camera. So yeah, anyway, gonna do that. And then, I don't know, we'll probably just hang out, eat dinner and then do Mila's bedtime, bath time, bedtime routine. And then tonight, Summer House comes on. And I try to have like a show that I like to watch at the, like every weeknight. Cause it gives me like, you know, especially on those hard mom days, I just think like, oh, tonight's a new episode of Vanderpump Rules or whatever. So I can relax, take a shower, relax and watch TV. So tonight is Summer House. Yesterday was Vanderpump Rules. And then, like I said, Caleb and I have been watching All American, so that's just been nice too. So anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here because I don't really know what else we're gonna do besides just hang out here, like I'm sure everybody else is. And like I said, I'm still kind of shy to like film these videos in front of Caleb. And I don't know, I could just see him over there giggling or laughing at me if I did. So anyway, that is it for now. And thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video.